Bad though you may be, if you know how to give your children the good things, all the more will our Father in heaven, the Holy Ghost, to those who ask him for it. Blessed be those who will listen to the holy preachings of the Lord and put them into practice. I want to thank the good Lord for wanting to be so terribly kind. After all the troubles and tribulations to bring me here once again and to enjoy your hospitality. <laughs> your gentle kindness. <laughs> and to have given me the possibility to divide with you your loaf of bread. <laughs> which this hungry pilgrim before you willingly accepts. Yes, you can fret no more. Those gorgeous heavenly gates are open to you. You can be certain of that. Though, uh, I'm not so sure. I wouldn't be willing to... I wouldn't be willing to swear about him. Hmm. So as I've said to you, as the Lord said, they that give, they will receive. Will you be doing the honors, my good woman? Um, pass me the wine. Thanks. Where's the little one? Will she be with us? Consuelo. She's gone to bed. She didn't feel too well. Ah. Sorry about that. Mmm. <laughs> Give me your plate. Pass the other. <laughs> Whose plate's that? For grandfather. Ah. So this plate's yours? Yes. Well, you worked hard. Double portion. Here we are. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I'll eat from the pot. <laughs> hey, wait. Pray before you eat. Seated at this humble table, O oh Lord, I beg you to bless the food we are about to eat and condescend to share it with us as your humble servant is about to share it with those who have offered to share it with him. <laughs> because to eat well and plenty strengthens the body and consequently the soul becomes more radiant and beautiful for your greater glory in the centuries of centuries. Amen. Amen. Now we may eat. Hey, where's my pot gone to? It was right here. Somebody took it from under my very nose. Oh, I can't understand it. Dog on it. That's strange. So none of you took my part then. You shouldn't let it upset you, Jonathan. Evidently, the Almighty God, having received your kind invitation, took his share. Yes, I know, but he took mine, though. That is true, Jonath Dickinson. I did accept your invitation. It was so heartfelt and sincere, I didn't want to disappoint you. I do appreciate your big-heartedness. Ah, that food was exquisite. And you'll be rewarded. Thank you, Jonath. But why did you eat only mine? To mortify your flesh, Jonath. You forget you've got to atone for your abominable sins. My sins? Which abominable sins? Think carefully, Jonath Dickinson. I have a record of a long list of your sins. But I'll be merciful with you. I'll recall to you only the most grave. In Iowa, you appropriated that loan from that bank, and you told everyone you'd erect a church. Uh, yes, but, but it's true. I wanted to erect that church. But they wouldn't give me the permission. <laughs> You're lying. I said you appropriated that loan and you used it on drinking and other pleasures. But instead of turning away and repenting, ah, you chose to continue on that sinful road. You gambled, you drank and fornicated, you squandered the money with which you would have built that church and in my name. Now listen to this one. Stop where you are, my flash of light, and we'll pulverize you on the spot. You once stole a lamb, and from poor hungry people, think of that. It was a lamb of God, was what you told them. If it was mine, why did you eat it? Tell me, Jonath. Explain it to me now, if you can. Well, I guess I was famished. If you do as I say, I won't punish you. Now stand up, and here's what I want you to do. Take your pouch. Which, this? The one with the Bible? No, the one near the window. That's it. That one. But there is nothing in it. I said go over and get it. Pick it up and put it on the table. Now open it. And distribute among these poor people everything that's in it. Uh, 
I put this food away not for myself. I meant to give it to the poor people. Take some of it and put it on the plate. For me? No. You see, you're being selfish, Jonath. You'll take the plate and bring it here to me now. I must have it now. Don't forget to put the food in it, though. Oh, Lord. In heaven? Oh, God. Where are you? Up here, I said. Up here. In the attic. Not in heaven. Come forward. Don't be afraid. Just walk up the stairs. That's it. When you get to the top, you'll put the plate on the bench in the middle of the room and then wait for a signal. And here's the signal. <laughs> You fake creature, you. <laughs> Jonath Dickinson. You're just a big, dumb ox. Well, it was you all the time. <laughs> Mark Tabor, you and your doggone tricks. I'm going to murder you. <laughs> this is the last time you'll play a trick on me. <laughs> you could never so take I'm a joke. big, dumb ox, huh? Hey, Jonas, uh, wait, wait. Remember, I once saved you from being hanged. Did you forget it? Sure, I remember it all right. But if you pull on your fool tricks again, I will kill you. Come on, I'm starving. <laughs> that was a pretty good trick now, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was. Go on, keep eating. Yeah. After all, it's all our friend the preacher. <laughs> Gordon, I brought you something to eat, too. Not bad for a fake preacher. Hmm? <laughs> Steady now. First I'm going to feed you, then I'm going to bed. The widow invited me to sleep in the house tonight. You know how it is. I can't refuse it. Uh, don't complain now, Gordon. I'll be seeing you in the morning. Mark, I sneaked out of the house. I hope my mother didn't see me. Well, you see that, Gordon? Hmm. That would be the little girl that wasn't feeling well. I don't think you care enough about me, Mark Tate. Well, what makes you think that? I do care. It's the same as always. Honest, Consuelo. Whenever I come by this way, I never pass up the opportunity to see you. Because I'm dying to kiss you. No, I don't want you to. Why not? Why won't you let me kiss you, Consuelo? I thought that you... I thought that we... What did you think? Why, I... Listen, Mark Tabor, I want to tell you this. I know all the girls in the county can't resist you. And you know I feel the same way. Well, then, why... I don't want you ever to see those girls again. Mark, will you promise me you won't? Consuelo! All right, Mama. I'm coming. I thought you were feeling sick. Get in the house. Just a minute, Mama. You've got to come in, I said. All right, I'm coming. I promise. I want to see if you keep your promise. I'd better go now before my mother calls me again. I'll see you later when everybody's asleep. Yes, Consuelo. I'll be waiting for you up in the attic. About midnight, Mark. See you later then. So long.
Hey, what's that knitting, Jonas? I didn't know it was you. You and your tricks again. I just can't figure you out. What did I do now? I believe I warned you, Mark, not to play any more of your tricks. This will be the last time. It wasn't me, it was him. He spoiled everything as usual. He can't believe I'm not listening to your excuses anymore, Jonah. Excuses, always with your excuses. As long as I have known you, you have always, always tried to throw all the blame on the others. All right, take it easy, Concepcion. We'll talk about it the next time I come. God bless you. Goodbye, I gotta go now. Well, uh, I'm... I'm sorry for what happened, I guess. Huh. Adios. Go, oh, get moving. What are you stopping for? Doggone it, one of these days I'm gonna treat you in for a horse. Hey, Jonas, were you waiting up for me? I'm not waiting for anybody. Oh, are you still mad? Thought you might like some company. Gets mighty lonesome riding alone. No, thanks. You wouldn't want to kid your horse. Oh, what do you mean? Well, Gordon's infernal rhythm would drain him of his strength. <laughs> I'll go ahead then. See you in Denver in a couple of months. Jonah Dickinson, you ought to put that donkey on wheel. Mark Tabor, one of these days I'll make you eat those words. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, Gordon, about last night. I don't know how to explain to you what happened. Everything went wrong, and all on account of my friend, Mark Tabor. Hey, Gordon, aren't you listening? What's the matter? Ah, what can I expect? You're nothing but a donkey. Oh, look, there's water. How about that, huh? You mind if we pause a while? That's the fella. Thanks. Don't move. This looks like an ideal spot to lie down and rest for a couple of hours. Hmm? You agree? <laughs> and I'll bathe my feet too. Sure. Tear this poor old Jack to shreds. I'm gonna have to get myself a new one. Oh, this needs a good cleaning. <laughs> you don't think I should bathe him, huh? Ah. Damn it. These feet really hurt me. I'm having a hell of a time getting it off. When your foot swallowed, it's kind of hard. I'm not asking your advice. Sometimes you're revolting. Why do we even talk to you? From now on, I won't ask you anything. What do you think you are, anyway? You're just a donkey to me. That'll fix you, all right. Though maybe I shouldn't have taken them off at all. Now, why do people wash their feet? I never wash them. I just look at my feet, white as milk. Oh, I hate water. Ah. Man, sometimes it could be refreshing. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> will that be your last drink? No. Here. Tell me something, will you? Who the heck is he? Who? Up on the wall. I don't know. That man at the bar is a friend of yours. Now that's a man. Jonas Dickens. <laughs> Who painted? Don't know that neither. Jonas, hey! Come here. Here, let me try. Jonas Dickinson, I believe. Jonas, darling. Jonas, love. What did I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> Do I know you, mademoiselle? <laughs> no, my name's Pearl Allen. Go and pick up a seat. <laughs> Something wrong, George? Come on, Tabor. You've always had a bad influence on me. Well, you don't mind it too much tonight. Isn't that so, Jonah? Eh, maybe. <laughs> hey, waiter, another bottle of whiskey. A bottle? Oh, that's real nice of you. <laughs> what do you think of a friend, huh? He's nice. You like this brand? Perfect. You know him? Mm-hmm. Well, who is he? Just a cowpoke. You're the one that's been going around the county collecting alms for the poor? Yes, sir. Ah, I'm proud of you. And is this how you administer all that money that's supposed to be given to the poor people of this town? Buying drinks in a saloon? Don't mind what he says. I don't. He just loves to fight. <laughs> 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 don't want to participate in this here fight? Please stand aside. <laughs> Wasn't a very nice thing to do. You should be punished. And we'll try to forget it. Up to get yourselves out of this town. Let's see here, Sheriff. We oh, didn't. Never mind, Jonas. It's time we got get out of here. Well, you'll go on your own. Our roads divide right here. I'll return to this ungrateful city, and you'll ask my forgiveness for this uncivilized act. <laughs> Old-timer? Been bending the elbow too much, huh? No, I've been walking for miles. I lost my horse. No kidding. <laughs> Come sit down here. Thanks, young man. Care for a little drink, Gramps? Mm. Here you are. Whiskey's very good. 
You saved my life, son. How far is it to Denver? But we're in Denver, old timer. Denver. So I've arrived in Denver and you're the first one I encounter. <laughs> I'm gonna let you in on a secret. <laughs> now listen, around Dead Man's Gulch, I found gold. <laughs> There's a whole mountain full. Oh, boy! <laughs> well, thanks for the tip, old timer. Be seeing you. You're in a hurry, eh? You want to get there faster than lightning? Even faster. <laughs> Good luck, young man. Try to leave some for the others. I'll do that. <laughs> thanks again. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Wrong? Nothing wrong. Get up. Know you're about to die? <clears throat> what do you mean, die? I feel just fine. But who are you? An intestinal beast? I can read inside your eyes. There's a secret there much too big for your conscience. Confess it before it's too late. Yes, yes, right away. I was in the mountains near Dead Men's Gulch, and I found these. Look. Cow. Do you see what I'm seeing? Yeah, and I'm bent on having a closer look. Where'd you say it was? A dead man's coach. Very well. It's a great confession. Many thanks, faithful soul. No, no, wait a minute. Will you leave me like this? Without saying one teeny little word before I die? Well, now the Almighty has conceded the stretch of life longer. Get moving. You come too. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna live. <laughs> Trying to be cuter, that preacher, but I reckon he knows his business. Hey, what's going on? Let go, let go! What's going on? Good old Gordon. I know our part is going to hurt. There's nothing we can do about it. The weight you'd have to bear would be too much. So I'll leave you here. Better, old fellow. Adios, amigo. Companion of so many adventures. So long. Who are you? How are you? But I said it first. Oh, well, then please forgive me. Well, then, no harm done, I guess. Uh, uh. Hey, Mr. Whoever you are, uh, what are you after? Well, you see, I'm just taking these two horses. Uh -huh. And why? Because I need them. Uh -huh. Does that satisfy you? But you can't. Why not? Isn't this where they change horses? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm taking these two horses in exchange for my donkey. Simple as that. The sheriff might get mad. They're his horses, you know. But you know, huh? he refuses to ride them. Why is that? Well, you see, he's got carbuncles. You know what I mean. In a place where it would hurt him to sit too long. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but hold on a minute. I gotta tell the sheriff if you take him out of here. Oh, wait. You seem to be an honest individual. Tell me, what's your name? I'm Pops, the village idiot. Let me have a look at your tongue. Let me have a look at your tongue a minute. Mm. Hey, you want to know something? Tilt your head down. Mm. I see the sign of the demon. Mm. Mm. Satan himself. Mm. Here, don't you worry. But you got to have faith, though. Mm. Mm. Because I could be your savior. 
in the Rockies, in the same mountains where I intend to go, there grows a wonderful Satan-destroying plant that can erase it. Well, what kind of a plant is that? I was raised in those mountains. Yes, but you've been an idiot since you were born. Yeah, that's right. How could you know about this wonder plant? <laughs> Be quiet and listen. I will get some for you. But I gotta have those horses over there. Yeah, but I wouldn't know the right words to use to explain it to the sheriff. Mm, don't you worry. But are you sure you're an idiot, Pops? Yes, yeah, sure, so they tell me. Yeah. I'm an idiot. How would you like if you turned intelligent? Oh, I imagine for a change it'd be nice. Then I can fix it for you. Listen. When we reckoned what it was all about, we went into action like lightning. Hmm, I can imagine. All right, go on. Let me hear the rest of it. What happened then? Well, then, when that other gone, we rode off to check for ourselves. And I'll be doggone if it isn't true. Then what? So we thought it wouldn't be a bad idea to bring him here. The old bugger wanted to tell everyone. Imagine that, <laughs> Mueller. <laughs> he feels as though he wants to give the secret to the whole county. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a big heart. <laughs> What's your name, old man? They call me Tripper. Tripper? Yeah. <laughs> I like you, old man. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> You're nice, too. <laughs> Would you like some coffee? I don't drink coffee. I drink whiskey. <laughs> whiskey, huh? <laughs> All right. Whiskey's better for you. <laughs> Ken, give him all he can drink. That's right. What'd you do that for? No. You shut your mouth. Ah, <laughs> hmm? uh, don't worry. <laughs> I've been telling Tom here to get rid of this. <laughs> Understand? Mmm. <laughs> It smells good. <laughs> I want you to take Tripper to Denver. Understand? Because I want him to tell everybody about the good news. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I told you to shut up, didn't I? Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you to shut up? <laughs> I know what I'm doing. You do what I tell you to do. And he's got to tell them everything, naturally. <laughs> right. Right, boss. Come on, Tripper. We're going back to Denver. And you're going to tell everybody about that dog. Oh, goody. So you found what out I'm this telling gold? you, son, it's a mountain near Dead Man's Gulch. Well, why are we wait sure. for? Let's go! <laughs> wait! Hold on a minute and listen to me. With gold rushes, there are certain regulations, you know. Yeah! All right, I'll see you all outside in one hour. Go get ready. As well. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's real gold. Let's get rid of it. All 
lined up? Yeah, we're ready. Get on the way. Let's go. You better be ready. Now, when I fire this gun, anybody who don't run will remain at home. You hear? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go inside. Hey, you there. Wait a minute. What's the meaning of this ridiculous demonstration? I understand you organized it, is that right? Of course. Why, I did what I thought was right. Get out of my way. Well, me and the mayor here are going to get you out of the way, mister. Now, don't you forget I'm the sheriff of this town, and I'm putting you under arrest. Arresting me? Why? For disturbing the peace of the public and spreading unauthorized, misleading, and false information. Ah, the gold. Do you agree with him? Yes. No. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Now, I'm the law of this town. Just behave and you'll get your pension. I guess we got to give in to you, but I protest. This is mutiny, Mr. Mueller. Perhaps. <clears throat> Are you a colonel or a politician? Hey, you better be careful what you say. Now, hear me out. I'm Mueller, sir, a very honorable person. I'm not a colonel or a politician. Shall we go, sir? Go on. I have no choice.
You understand my plan? Sure do. Yes, sir. That's fine. All right, now, let me look at you. Not bad, Pearl. With those legs, you're going places if you do as I say. All right. Don't forget, you'd look better with earrings. Mm -hmm. And you look nice like that. You can go now. Ah. Make sure the customer's glasses are never empty. You can go. <laughs> Tripper, come here. Now, you know what you have to do, right? Yes, sir. Sure. Come on. <laughs> How about that? Mm -hmm. I expect you two to be on the spot when they come back with the gold. I expect you to badger them, not kill. Get it? Rob their gold, empty their pockets, but no killing. Now, get going. Tom? I elect you our new sheriff. I'll get started. Right away. <laughs> now you two, show me what you can do. Sure. Right away, sir. All right. Hold right, Connie. You go hmm? first. Now. You're to look carefully now. See this card? Five, right? Right. And five, eight, ten. <laughs> and now we shuffle them again. as we see here, in the pack with the other cards. But separately, like so. Then we shuffle them again. And one, two, three, four races. <laughs> now, look at my hands. One. There we are. Now, what have we got here, I wonder? Count them. <laughs> One ace, two. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Four aces. <laughs> They're all there. <laughs> Very good. You think that's good? Watch this. Steady now. <laughs> Ace of spades. Examine it. Put it in the center of the pack, and you find it on top. How is that? <laughs> Here, put it back. See it? Mm -hmm. Watch it. See it? Where is it? There. <laughs> How'd you like that, Mr. Miller? Mm. Uh, mm. The 
<laughs> Howdy, friend. Good morning. What's the name of this delightful place? <laughs> yeah, uh, the name of this crappy place, uh, the name is, uh, 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 come on, help me, Fred. Yeah, I don't remember. It's been years since I heard it called. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do like your sense of humor, good gentleman. Is there food any good? <laughs> I wouldn't bet on it. Hey, Slim, you got a customer. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Go Thanks. right in. <laughs> good day, young man. Hey, good day, Not day, bad once you're inside. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Listen, the white one's mine. And which one are you going to take? Mm -hmm. Well, what choice have I got? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not go in first? Maybe we can have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> There's turkey, sausage, you've got bacon and eggs, and yeah. there's chicken with home fried potatoes, yeah. and there's roast lamb. Bring me all you got. All righty. Have a seat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you say everything? Hey, else? What are you doing? Excuse me. Come on, hurry up. I'm hungry. Right, right away. There's turkey, bacon, eggs, chicken. What do you want? I got no horse. Would you give me a ride? Go by foot. Son, I don't digest too well. Will you just slap me on the back right here? Thanks. Oh. Oh, go on, hit me. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Thanks. Would you mind giving me another one? That's enough, you don't pig. What do you think my brother is? Your wet nurse? I'm gonna beat your hide. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. Yeah? Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Hit me again, I dare you. Come on, hit me again. What are you doing, fella? Dancing? Hey, Slim. Come on, you forgot to bring the cream cake. Go on, go and get it. Hey, I dare you to hit me again. Uh, but this is the last time. Oh! 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 Hey, up with you. Listen to me, mister. You know, watch out, he'll fight. Ah, let me at him! <laughs> hey, what do you do now? Come on, show me. <laughs> Let me taste that. You are going good. Dog. 
you go thought on. you got rid of me, didn't you? Go on, hit me again. Go on. But go I on. implore you. Hit me. I've hit you seven times already. Even the Bible says hit after it. the seventh we rest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get this off, I can't breathe. <laughs> go on, Fred, hit him. <laughs> hit him again, hit him again. <laughs> hit him again, Fred. Right, I'm going to start swinging. Here I go. How's that, huh? Ah, here. Ah, All right, that's enough now. Get your hands up or I'll shoot to kill. Uh, say, uh, who might you be? The sheriff? Out. Out. This way. Move. Yeah, but, but, but listen, I... Listen, the sheriff. What I... can you tell me about this horse? What horse? Oh, you mean the two horses? Well, hey, look here, Sheriff. I, I did nothing wrong. I left word with, uh, you know, uh, Pop, the village idiot, to tell you that I was just borrowing the two horses and even left my donkey as collateral. Never mind the explanations. And let me see without that thing on your head. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> mm. oh, well, I'll Stay where you are, the... you big fake. You stole my horse. What horse? That one there. The one carrying all the weight. Was it because of the tricks I played on you? You wanted to get even, so you took my horse? Mark, what's wrong with you? Come on, give me my horse. Come here a minute. Look, I'll show you something. What does it say there? Now, do you see them initials? FD. They show not the same as yours, right? But I could have sworn this was my horse. <laughs> Just a coincidence. Just a pure coincidence. These two horses belong to the sheriff. I borrowed them for a while. So you see, I'm innocent, as pure as the waters of the Nile. The heck you are. But that ain't the problem. Because you're still a horse thief. Well, what do you mean? Listen, come with me. You see, I don't have a horse right now. Yeah. You've got two, right? Why, but you see, you've only two arms and two legs. Well, then, it's a disadvantage. Get the picture? No. Well, you see, it's simple. I'll try to explain it to you. Now, I have two arms and two legs. Mm -hmm. And you got two arms and two legs. Yeah, sure. Two arms. So what? Just a minute. Take it easy. Let me finish. So I'm without a horse. Yeah. And you got two, right? Well, yeah, that's right. So what? But you only got two legs and two arms. <laughs> can't you figure it? What's that a figure? With just two legs and arms, you can't ride them, can you? I ride him one at a time, you fool head. What do you do with the other? The other horse, he rides along with us. So that's what I'm getting at. You have two arms and two legs. And your two horses, how many legs they have? How many have they? Well, hold on. How much longer are you going on with this? You drive me out of my well, rock. Well, all right, I'll explain it to you. Please. Just pay attention. What do you think I've been now, doing? Now listen, and don't interrupt me. Now I have no horse. That I know. And you got two, right? Don't go, you don't you see them there? And so I have two arms, two legs, and you have two arms, two legs. Two legs, two of Will you let me finish? Now we're getting to the point. Don't go on it. What is the point? Now I'll explain it to you. If two horses have eight legs, two men have four. here but a lot of dust and mountains that all four sure paid you for a sucker I can't tell you digging gold takes time you know yeah we've been digging like crazy and what have we got here nothing but rocks and dust I have a hunch this maybe wasn't a spot Jonas according to that old buzzard this is it this forgotten hellhole nothing but dust and stone <laughs> what are you laughing for your hyena why you no! Darn it! Now my feet hurt! No! Hey, Jonas. Hmm. Don't 
don't take it to heart. Oh, just think of all the exercise and the fresh air you're getting. Hey, are you calm down now? <laughs> My, I don't hear you fretting much now. <laughs> hey, that's dynamite, friend. Stop that, Jonas. I'll go off. I destroy the sterile earth. Give me that dynamite, you darn fool. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Come on, run, you idiot. That's a rapid fuse. Rapid fuse, huh? Mm. Well, we're lucky. No harm done. Jonathan. Mark. Yeah. You see what I see? Hey. I'll be a rattlesnake's uncle. Why, this looks like gold. Uh, come on, let's go. <laughs> Gold. <laughs> what did I tell you, Jonas? <laughs> We're rich. <laughs> Yahoo! Yahoo! Mueller, here already? I see you a minute. Why aren't you with the other men? Got some good news for you. Thought you'd want to know. What news? The gold diggers, they're beginning to return. <laughs> That's good news. Wait a minute. What on earth's the matter with those idiots? There's plenty to dig there. What are they coming home for? It's almost winter, Mr. Mueller. It begins to get cold in the mountains. And they ain't got much food left. And they can't find nothing to eat in those parts. <laughs> All right. We begin operating. If we see men traveling with gold, we stop them. Get started. Got something to eat there? Yeah. yeah! But have you got any to spur? I've got plenty of gold nuggets. You lousy vultures.
something to eat. Boy, am I hungry. Hey, what are you doing? You look like some faker. What's the matter with you? A friend of mine once taught me to do this. It's supposed to drive away hunger like it did for him. You mean when you're famished? Yeah, famished. <laughs> Show me the way. How do you do it? This way? Is this how? Uh, oh, darn it. How? Here you are, Jonas. Here's a piece of bacon. And this will be our last ration. Uh, give it to me. Uh, this will be our last meal. of bread? Yeah, what'd you expect? Hey, this is a smaller piece. What do you mean, smaller? Give it to me. Mm. There. Put one over on me. Hmm. Tomorrow we ought to get moving. Mm. In the storm? <laughs> It'd be crazy. I mean to leave as soon as it stops. Mm -hmm. Do you figure it makes sense to go away? Now, with a mountain of gold to carve out? It's all yours. Ah. Listen, Mark, what do you think? Hmm. How about killing one of my horses? Hmm. Hmm. We'll split them in half. You go to Den with the other horse, get supplies, and return. Yeah, to bury you. Yeah, certainly. No, what makes you talk that way? You sure to eat your share of the horse meat in two meals. I'm right. You die of starvation. Nope. We're both going back. I have a good time. Old beefsteaks. Good sausages. Mm -hmm. Beer. Mm -hmm. Ice cold. Mm -hmm. and lots of girls. Mm -hmm. That's enough, you son of the devil. Give me my share of the bacon. Choose the one you want. They're both the same. I bet they are. Choose for that. Oh, you mean for who gets to bed tonight? Like we do every night. As you wish, you wind up losing anyhow. Go on, go on, who gets it? Same as always, right? Fine. Whoever ends account sleeps on the stool by the table. All right, let's go. Are you ready? My favor?
I've never won even once. Wait a while. Come here. Come here. Would you mind if we tried once more? Do me a favor. Huh? Uh, this will only be a try. Well, of course, Mark. Your favor? My favor. One, two, three. That's five. One, two, three, four, and five. Lose as usual. As usual. Mm -hmm. Always lose. I know he gyps me every night. Lucky for him, I ain't caught him. Again, I gotta sleep on the stool. a storm or not. Now, we'll divvy up the gold.
Help! Put that down. Come forward, James, and see what these persons want. Come here, you. No, Come wait. with us. Come on. How dare you? Please, Lord Brian, sir. I need your help, sir. James, hurry. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, hurry, James. Yes, I, I, I know you there. I'm coming, sir. Oh, run, man, run. you again. Come here. We saw you stealing those bags. If there's gold in them, it belongs to Mueller. Which one of you is boss? <coughs> Get up. Now beat it. I said get. Move. You're complaining, Bob, but let's go again. Go on, roll them. This time I'm taking all your money. <laughs> You'll take all my money, huh? Go ahead, call it. Hundred dollars. That'll be fine. Howdy, stranger. Huh? Well, howdy. Would you mind joining us? We need an arbitrator. Oh. <laughs> I'm having a little game with my friend. <laughs> Where is he? I'm right here. He sure is. Why don't you see him there? He's right in front of me. Where? There. Uh, who's winning? Well, I'm winning. That's why I'm asking to be a referee. Well, what do I do? Well, being that I always win every game with Bob, I would like somebody to be a referee, because I wouldn't want him thinking I'm thought. It's not just for me to be doing this, but mostly for my friend Bob. All right. If you do me a favor, too. Have you got something, something to eat? Hmm, you're asking me for something to eat as remuneration and payment, you say? That's right. Yes, but first we gotta play, huh? Yeah, come on, let's play. If you want something to eat, first you have to referee, otherwise, uh-uh. <laughs> well, are we gonna play or not? Sure, Bob. Here you are. Seven. Ain't it finished yet. <laughs> Let's see. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. <laughs> One again. See what it'll tell you, huh? <laughs> now the game's finished. <laughs> it's a pretty good joke, don't you think? Now where are you hiding all that gold? They're in your bags, huh? Eat up, gringo. <laughs> Put your hands up in the air. <laughs> Finished. Let me see if you like the game. I'll show you now. Watch. Hey, wait a minute. I was only playing dice. That's all. Just kidding. Honest. What? Uh, 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 now. 
dong. Hah. 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 How about that little joke? Huh? <laughs> Tell you what I'll do with you. It's a good idea. You can continue using your dice. <laughs> Why, with this money, I'll make mighty good use. <laughs> so long now. You won't be needing this anyway. And so long to your friend Bob. Tabor. Ah, that's right, you're not Gordon. You can't possibly understand. Well, come with me. We'll look for it. What's the house offering tonight? Venus, Bacchus, and Baytown, sir. What? Venus, Bacchus, and Baytown. I'll be darned if I know what the first two are. The Baytown, I do. Bring me the works. The works? Everything. Right, sir. Hurry up. Right, sir. Well, look who's here. Hello, big boy. May hey. I keep you coming? Why, sure, Perl, sure. <laughs> Come on. Sit down. Here, have it here. It's an honor. Thank you. <laughs> How have you been? Hmm? What's happened to a friend, do you know? Tabor? Mm. Nah, he'll be showing up. He's got seven lives like a tomcat. Mm -hmm. Play 
in with yourself can drive you mad, you know. Because I'm hungry. Waiter! <laughs> You've eaten more food than all the men you've put together. <laughs> Bravo, you're a real man, John. It's exactly the way I want him. Oh, oh, you're a filthy pig. How could you? <laughs> That's nice, Pearl. But hit me here. Right under my right shoulder is best. <laughs> there. taking all I've got. I ain't playing with you Take guys. Take care of it, Tom. Get out of here and don't come back. All right, you don't have to push. Go on. He's a sore loser. Well, Gentlemen, you. that seat's empty. Mind if I play? No, not at all. Come on over. Thanks. Beat it. Pearl? What? You know him? <laughs> Sit down. Thanks. I could never afford to play before, but, uh, but now, you have money? Oh, yeah, sure. Here, I'll show you. Uh, there you are. <laughs> Even better than money, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Think it'll be enough? What stakes do you play? In this game, there's no roof when we're around. No roof? But I've never had a roof. It's all right with me, even in the open. We're ready to start playing a game right now. Will you join us? All right? Well, I'm ready any time you are. Come on, let's start. We all pick up a card, and then the first one who gets an ace will be the mm -hmm. dealer. We'll let you go first. Me first? Thanks very much. Oh, ace. Ha. You're a very fortunate man. You want to be mighty careful with this streak of luck. I might win everything. <laughs> you all got such good, honest faces. It would really make me sad. Well, look who's here. Howdy, friend. Welcome back to Denver. Howdy yourself. How have you been? Just fine. I figured you'd gone off digging for gold. <laughs> well, now I don't need to go digging for it. My mine is right here. This saloon is a real gold mine. Oh, yeah? And I got an associate, you know. <laughs> the new mayor, Mr. Mueller. Uh, uh. And he's a very honest gent. Uh-huh. I'm the manager of the saloon and of the gamblers. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sounds real great. And it's all within the law. But tell me something. How is it organized? The financial part, I mean. What's the matter? Don't you feel good? It can happen to anybody to lose. It's a matter of luck, that's all. One time you lose, the next time you lose. I, I mean win, as the saying goes. The wheel spins for everyone. Yeah, but for me... It always spins the wrong way. You still have a lot of gold. <laughs> and you can win it all back right now, if you want to. That gold is not mine. It belongs to somebody else. This gold is mine. Good evening. Do you mind if I take his place, sir? Hmm? May I? We're sure. All right, come on, get up. I don't know. <laughs> oh, what's that? My good luck, Ray. Where did you find it? Start game. 
mean now? <laughs> My hands are a little stiff from the cold. Tom? <laughs> Go take care of that thing. Right. Get. thousand dollars. All right. All right, I'll see it. Me too. Well, that's a lot of money. I don't play, not unless you can cover it. This is worth fifty thousand dollars, the title of this property. That covers it. All right, I'm playing. Show them your cards. I pulled the ace. Four kings. I got a flush with jack high. And I got one too. Only mine's higher. Straight and all hearts. How's that? Well, gentlemen, looks like the pot's mine. <laughs> Boy, that was great. <laughs> and now, if you'll allow me, leave that pot right where it is. Leave that pot right where it is! <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, Mark. Let's see what you can do now. Shakespeare was the greatest poet in England and a glory for that land. How about it? And who's the glory of this land? You are! 